Guys, right now I'm chilling at Sandella's with Anna. We're going to discuss Netflix Club. Definitely excited. Love that. So yeah, stay tuned for more content. To me today, though, it's so hard to get in touch with people. Well, Netflix Club should help take care of that. Okay. Speaking of Netflix Club, uh, here's what we got. We want to meet on Tuesdays for one hour um, for check-in. Like, if you have to check into the building, you can probably come a little earlier than 12 p.m., maybe like 11.45 or something. Uh, meetings start at 12 p.m. and end at 1 p.m. You meet outside of CCRH for check-in, and then we meet in room 407 to actually watch Netflix. We want to promote over Facebook, Yik Yak, possibly, and YouTube. Our meeting goals are we give a synopsis of previously assigned episodes, then we discuss previously assigned episodes, then we watch 30 minutes of one episode, we talk about it, we review it, and then record the review for you guys on YouTube, and then assign episodes for the next meeting. Um, is there anything that I left out? No, I think you did pretty good. I'm excited about the YouTube thing, too. I've never... I've made one YouTube video, and that was my junior year of high school, and it was for an assignment, not because I wanted to... And you can help me with technology because, you know, I'm technology impaired. I'll bring my cable and then I'll try and go on Facebook again tonight and find well, what you agreed on to watch first. I have no idea. I can't remember. Have you watched The Walking Dead? No. We could start with that because, are, are you interested in watching that or no? <laughs> well, I mean, we can pick something else because I haven't watched it and I really want to because one of my best friends, she's like really into it and it seems like a good show. Like, I've watched a couple episodes, but I haven't, like, I don't know what's going on now because I didn't follow, I haven't, I've only watched like the first two episodes, so I haven't been following it in the series. I'll find something else. Oh, I don't, <laughs> I don't like scary things. <laughs> we might not be able to watch anything in horror, but I mean, I'll give it a try. We'll see. Just not a scary movie. I don't like the cool. freaking out. Alright, here we go. Good. Okay. I will come back with you and I'll text you. Okay, sounds like a plan. I'll see if I can't figure it out when we agreed on it. I'll just go on Netflix and be like, hey, this sounds cool. You want to watch this? Yeah. So you guys, stay tuned for more content. Hey guys, how's it going? Uh, right now I'm chilling in Cade's room with Cade. You just got some Chick-fil-A. Uh, you don't say anything. True. You can hear it though. Really? Yeah. Oh, and that was a smart idea. If you go to Chick-fil-A, you said they only have like tea and lemonade and then for soda it like costs more. Dude. Uh -huh. Do what Cade did and like have your own soda. Like screw that. Chick Fil A is already expensive. They don't take your order at the Chick Fil A on campus. They just like have slides where they like drop food as they make it, and it ends up making long lines when a lot of people want the same thing and there's none of it. That was stupid. Yeah, they only have one slot for spicy and three slots for regular. Yeah. Like spicy is usually in high demand, so that's just begging for trouble. Seems like a bad allocation of resources. But don't worry, they got chicken nuggets. Yeah, they have chicken nuggets on the butt, and then no one wants the chicken nuggets. Oof. But anyways, yeah. Because they don't have any dipping sauce. They have honey? They have honey. Um, but their honey is kind of like the worst honey I've ever had. Um, let me warn you guys about it. It's grade A pure honey, and I like pure honey. Um, but this is by Subi. Subi honey is not that good. It doesn't have, like, the greatest taste. Um, Walmart brands like Pure USA Grade Honey is on point. This is not. Wouldn't recommend Subi. Uh, what's your favorite root beer, Kate? Um, kind of that, like, I didn't expect that. But I'd have to say, uh, I don't drink that often, therefore I can't formulate the correct, uh, assessment as I've only had one type, and I'd be biased. Okay. Let's see. I've had Bangs, Mugs, IBC, and A&W. And I have to say that IBC is probably the best. IBC comes in, like, a glass bottle. It has, like, the correct amount of, like, sweetness um, versus carbonation ratio kind of thing. Like, A&W, to me, is, like, probably the lowest on the list. It probably goes A and W, Bangs, because Bangs is like all right. 
Mug, I think, is better than Bangs. And then IBC, I think, is on the top of that list. Um, you're telling me you've only had Mug, by the way? Yeah. I mean, if you ever get root beer in the cafeteria, that's Bangs. That's not Mug. Yeah, I don't usually get root beer in the cafeteria. Though. For real? Oh, wow. The only time I had it was during that uh, milk root beer. Oh, and how was it then? I don't know. That was a straight root beer. Sure. Well, well, anyways, root beer reviews. They didn't expect that when you clicked this video. Anyways, um, stay tuned for K. What? They got to stay tuned, but what are they staying tuned for? Nothing. They're, sta <laughs> they're staying tuned for nothing? Yo, Kevin. Hey, the viewers at home got to stay tuned, but what do they got to stay tuned for? Rick and Morty? What? <laughs> what do you have to stay tuned for? You have to stay tuned for the tune. Stay tuned. Oh, for stay tuned for more content. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Thanks, Kevin. Hey guys, right now we're chilling in Kevin's new room and we're watching the Batman vs. Superman Donna Justice trailer. Uh, Cade has never seen it. It's Wayne Enterprises. Well, Wayne Financial. That's the Bat Cave. No one ever says that. Yeah, like, jump back. No. That looks way too high tech. You can that use the air key, arrow keys to jump back too. Oh. See? Pause it. Oh. There's the Robin suit right there. Who's Robin then? Uh, in this Who's I think already? I think Robin's dead already in this. Hmm. But that's the Bat Cave. Cool. No one mentioned that in like the kind of stuff I watched. Mm -hmm. Now, what do you think of the Bat suit? I'm sure it's like the older Batman. How is him pulling a tire Dark Knight has that Superman? That's like more so the original kind, right? Um, a lot of people say it looks like Frank Miller's uh, Batman. And, I mean, it I does. I've seen that one. A lot of people are mad because it looks like it's duct taped together. Mm. Like, yeah. doesn't that look like a whole bunch of duct tape, like, unnecessarily rolled onto a bat suit? The mm -hmm. Dark Knight one is way better when I check it. It looks more like leather with veins. Mm -hmm. Now, if that guy's Alfred, that's like a really weird, young looking Alfred. Who's Alfred? Uh, Batman's butler. That's Lois Lane that I was talking to. Yeah, it's gonna be amazing. You know, I heard Apocalypse in it. No. Or like the evil. You mean Dark Side? Doomsday. Doomsday? Yeah. I could be wrong though. I'll check to see if that's been confirmed. I mean, they need more villains. Lex Luthor is not enough for this. That's Lex Luthor, by the way. The guy talking to him right now. See that Robin suit? Also, that woman they showed a few moments ago was Wonder Woman, just outside of her suit. The Asian girl? No, not the Asian girl. That uh, one that you just saw. Yeah. We want to know why those guys with the SWAT team uniforms have Superman patches on. Yeah. Is that the Joker? Uh, that was Batman pulling down the tarp on the um. No, the suit. On the Robin suit, and the Robin suit has "Ha Ha Jokes on You" written on it. So a lot of people think the Joker's already killed Robin. But did you notice the Superman patches on their arm? Yeah. And he went back. I thought the Joker died, like, in Arkham Knight. No, oh, this is like not connected back. to Arkham Knight. Oh, okay. Batman dies in Arkham Knight. Well, 
Yeah. Supposedly. I mean, it's more not Arkham Knight. I mean, like um, the Dark Knight. The Dark Knight is not related to it either. This is a reboot. There's Wonder Woman again. Now, a lot of people say that Batman breaks that guy's neck in that last scene we watched. Yeah, watch this. That guy. The one who's on the ground. So it's like Batman versus Superman. Versus everybody, apparently. And see how the Superman guys are, like, shooting people? The ones with the Superman crest? So, what's up? Like, uh, yeah, I know are they framing that. Superman, probably? Well, Superman walked through and they all, like, kneeled and Superman seemed like he was okay with it. Oh. So, what does that mean? See, look! I mean, it does kind of look like it. Like, do that pause yeah. thing you were doing before. What do you mean? Like, you were watching it and you, like, kept pausing as it went uh, so we can watch his hand movements. Like, does he really, like, break his neck? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah it looks like he does. Yeah, that is like sport. Kryptonite, I think. Now this is why I read that it was going to be Doomsday because Superman his um eye lasers are like super small and then like Doomsdays are like super big. So you mean Dark Side? Uh, yeah, <laughs> what are we thinking for Dark Side? General Okay, then that is Doomsday. I've heard something like that. Now, a lot of people like to say, like, it should end right here. Like, as soon as he broke the Batmobile and Batman just kind of stood up, like, what is Batman going to do? I feel like in the movie, neither, like, they might do it where Batman wins a fight. No, what they should do is Superman wins a fight, Batman leaves, comes back with prep, uh, Batman yeah, wins the fight. <laughs> but then there should be another fight at the end that's like a friendly fight that they should leave ambiguous, where like you don't know who won, yeah. so in the end you can argue Would both sides. That, that, that sounds sounds a good idea. Idea. I bet Batman would win in the end. And somebody comes up in and kills both. <laughs> That's when Darkseid comes in. Um, I heard Cyborg is also in this one. Really? But he's not. He hasn't been in any of the trailers. Like Cyborg from Teen Titans? Yeah. Huh. I thought he was the only like a Teen Titans person. I don't. No, he's big in Justice League right worst. now. I don't think I've seen a movie with Cyborg in it. Right. He hasn't been in one. Like ever? In like a live people movie? No. Can't wait to see this. Let's just say I'll put him in the hole. Suicide Squad? Hole. Yeah. I think that's going to be actually a pretty bad movie. Really? Yeah. Why do you think that? Oh, yeah. I have seen things. <laughs> it looks lame. I mean, I feel like the movie makes sense in the DC universe. They're trying to establish that, like, after Superman showed up, a bunch of weird other powered people showed up, but not all of them are good. Because now you set up a universe where you can have super powered villains and it makes sense. So, what's this about? Uh, Suicide Squad? Essentially, a bunch of super villains are taken by the government and implanted with, like, bombs. Really? And it's like. They bombs in them? Yeah, they have bombs in them. And it's like, oh, if you don't do what we tell you to and go on these suicide missions. We blow up your head. Damn. That's supposed to be Harley Quinn. Really? I thought, oh. Isn't that weird, Kate? Yeah. Yeah. We have someone else that's exactly like this. Like, the girl that got her power from the demon or something. Maybe they got her name wrong. No. That Deathstroke suit. I hadn't paid attention to that. Deathstroke got captured? Deathstroke is the leader of the Suicide Squad. That's how we went? Yeah. So then who's the other girl that was like... Mm. Oh! Katana. Katana? Yeah. Um, 
in DC, Katana is this woman whose husband mm -hmm. was like really awesome, and that he died, and Katana believes that the spirit of her husband is now in the sword. I don't know who that is. Okay, because it seems like one of the suicide squad people too. But oh, see Katana in the, in the back? back? Yeah, she talks to her husband through the sword. But there's it's kind of weird because she claims she can hear her husband through the sword. But it's kept ambiguous. Katana could just be crazy. Killer Croc. <laughs> I don't. I still don't know how I feel about it. Also, Batman's gonna be in it. Katana is who I'm the. Yeah. Well, I feel like his car in it. I was sure he's actually gonna be. That girl. Right there. I'm seeing a lot of things I never saw the first time I watched this. I think the Joker is like the worst character in this whole thing. Oh, yeah. The other guy was better, like the first Joker. The one he's I, he's the not the Joker. first Joker. Or the one that I know. The recent Joker. Yeah. yeah. He looks more scary. And I don't like that line. I'm gonna hurt you really, really bad. They could have done something else. Yeah. Also, Joker with a bunch of tattoos is weird. Because Joker originally was, like, untraceable. It was, like, his suit, like, where did his suit come from? Not originally, but the one that everybody knows now. Right. And this Joker is, like, like oh, he knows a guy who does stuff. tattoos. <laughs> you mean, like, the one with the purple suit and, like, the green... Oh, this is Mr. Sunday Movies. He's really good for pointing out things that you haven't seen. What the hell is this? This is Anyways, uh, while they're watching Mr. Sunday Movies, you stay tuned for more content. And post in the comments below what you think about Suicide Squad and Batman vs. Superman. Like, comment, subscribe, favorite. Thank you, and stay tuned. I can't believe you didn't like the movie because it was like the camera's trying to follow him. Like the entire time. He's just like, oh, we almost get him in the frame. Okay, we're watching the Supergirl first look. I want you guys' legitimate reactions to this. So, the planet got destroyed. How did she get off? Her parents did the same thing. They couldn't have four prepared? I don't know why they have baby sized rocket ships in the first place. <laughs> How did Superwoman make it too? There is no Superwoman. Wonder oh, Woman oh, is from oh, Ben Mascara. I can't. I'm sorry. I have a date. Hey. Fine. Hey. Dating is fine. Did you forget you were watching a Supergirl trailer? I know, right? Yeah, that happened. <laughs> <laughs> this is like, um... Oh, uh, the, the Devil Wears Prada or something so far. And they made Jimmy Olsen black for some reason. They made Jimmy Olsen black for some reason. That's the photographer in the Superman uh, comics. Oh, even when the superpowers are introduced, to me it seems lackluster. Someone I know is on the plane. I guess I better use my powers for the first time in my entire life. <laughs> Kate is leaving. Right as the powers are being introduced, he's like... 
I have a lot of interest already. Fun fact, Supergirl is supposedly stronger than Superman. Really? No. Yeah. She's older than him. What? She, she is, is older, really? and she was supposedly in the capsule for longer. Yeah, and, like, got more sunlight. It's not a movie, it's a show, dude. No, I'm good. <laughs> Wait, so isn't Superman already, like, out there in this TV show? Yeah, in this world, Superman is already a thing. Mm. Shouldn't you be called Super... Woman? What do you think is so bad about Supergirl? I'm a girl, and you're a boss, and powerful, and rich, and hot, and smart. So if you perceive Supergirl as anything less than excellent, isn't the real problem... Dang, I felt like, yeah. Dara? <laughs> And why do you have to jump off Damn. the building? Can you just fly normally? Interesting. I'm not flying around saving people in this thing. Where's my keys? Keep your legs. Oh my god, it's for off that, I swear. So, to be a superhero, you need a crime. There's a car chase on the 112 freeway. I can do a car chase. She has like no disguise whatsoever, so they're gonna know who she is. It's like that in the comic though. Ah, uh, okay. Does she ever get like discovered too? Uh, um, that I don't know. Now, even though you're bulletproof, how is your thing not bulletproof? Well, no, it wasn't because like you just threw away it. And uh, oh, okay. okay. For super, it's just like your cousin. It's not an S. My family's coat of arms. The house of elves. This is the part where it looks kind of interesting. Oh, nice. Now it's getting interesting. So they know who she is. Did you forget what you were watching again? Yeah, yeah. People of this city will die. You have to let me stop it. So, you can feel you put the super Well, I guess they like had to like water it down for TV. No, they didn't. Anyway, I like to make it more drilly. You didn't Supergirl. You didn't need to, though. Smallville was good and had Supergirl in it. But that was super mad. I mean, I guess... Supergirl was in Smallville. She really? She was? Yeah. What? We need to watch Smallville. I have season 8 on my laptop, like, right now. Was that, like, the last one, or...? Uh, no. Season 8's, like, somewhere in the middle of the series. But, mm. but you don't need to start at the middle. I mean, you don't have to start at the beginning to get it. And then I know, like, um... Green Arrow came in. Yeah. Green Mother Arrow, Thinking. Aqua... This season's really good for you if you want to see everybody. So Black Canary's in it, Aquaman, Green Arrow, Supergirl, mm. kind of. Uh, Martian Manhunter, I think, leaves really? the this? season before. Wow, but he's in it? Yeah, he's in it. What? Dr. Oh. Fate's in it. Dude, Legends of Tomorrow. This is like the exact opposite of Supergirl. This is like the greatest thing ever. For the TV show? Yeah. Yeah, it has the arrow in it? Yeah. Alright. Oh! Cool. Oh, so it's like all of them combined, then, I'm guessing. Because I've seen, like, Flash and. Do you watch The Flash? Well, I've seen, like, the first episode. Dude, you need to watch The Flash. I heard it's good, but. Oh, it is. I don't like Arrow, personally.
Wait, so who are all the team? Do you know? They're gonna get highlighted as it goes on. Okay. Is that the girl with like the huge um mace thing? Mm hmm Whoa, that's cool. Uh that's white canary, because black canary died and came back to life. Uh, Captain Cold and Heatwave are flash criminals. So they're bad people? And then the Atom can like shrink. Uh Heatwave and Captain Cold are the only bad guys on the team. Wait, so how are they a part of the team? And then that's bad. Firestorm. Oh, you're missing it. This show's actually good. And no, I don't have a stapler. I actually I need asking. one. You're asking Kevin? What? You have a stapler? <gasps> you do? Thank you, dude. I need it too. Who's this? Uh, this is Legends of Tomorrow. And it's like a DC superhero team. He's talking about Vandal Savage. He's the main bad guy. Oh, and Rip Hunter. I'm really excited to see him in this. I think you're missing like the most action-y part. You are missing the most action-y okay, part. Can I push like all the way, put the paper all the way to the back of it? Literally the whole sequence you missed was action. <laughs> Or like try wiggling it around the paper and stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is the point he's getting across. They don't have to be heroes. They can be legends. But yeah, Legends of Tomorrow is about Vandal Savage being an immortal and trying to like alter history. So, Flash... Green Arrow, The Atom, Captain Cold, Heat Wave, Black Canary, who's now White Canary because she came back to life, and Hawk Girl are all getting together to, it, Lord of the Rings? to stop can... Vandal Savage. Oh, and Rip Hunter is a time traveler who's helping him do it. So that, I actually think, is going to be good, and that's also going to be a TV show. When does it come out? Damn, I missed it. Nice to follow. Huh. I guess we'll figure that out later. Anyways, uh, Kevin, what do you think? It looks good, actually. All these superhero TV shows and stuff. Unfortunately, Except for Super I'm Girl. stuck with my The Walking Dead and Game of Thrones. <laughs> uh, yo, Cade, what do you think? A Legend of Tomorrow. Mm -hmm. I missed all the action. You missed all the action? Uh, trust me, there's plenty. Um, speaking of plenty of action, there's plenty more content here, so... Kevin? But, 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 but. Yeah. Oh my god, Nightwing has his own theory? Stay tuned. With his costume. There you go, Kate. Stay tuned for the. <laughs> for what? <laughs> Stay tuned for more content. Okay, Nick? <laughs> you seem aggravated. Oh, and there are a lot of action scenes. I'll show you in a second. Get a cat. Guys, right now hey. I'm chilling in Kevin's room. Kevin, what are we doing? Playing some Naruto. Kick uh, ass game. Yeah, um, on getting PS3. Old. Um, I've, this is the first time me ever playing it. I've won once against Kevin so far, I think. <laughs> uh, with Naruto, surprisingly. Uh, I normally don't like him in this game. This is what it looks like. The game. See? It's pretty chill. I was about to, like, spit a Bible at you. So what's it called? <laughs> it's called Naruto Ninja Storm. Ultimate Ninja Storm. Cool. Uh, Kevin just got all this stuff from back home. And so then my room was on fleek. Ooh, I got everything up in here. Have you finished your drawing yet? No, I started though. Just what I did that one day. Cool. Probably can't see it. Nope, not from that distance. 
I just like started putting detail in the hand. So, mm. so yeah, uh, who do you think is gonna win this round? I think um, Hinata is gonna win. Notice that there's two, two Hinatas, Hinatas yeah, and we yeah. both have one. Yeah. <laughs> see what I did there. I see what you did there. Stay tuned for more content. Hey guys, we just did like 21 rounds of Naruto uh, Clash of Ninja Storm 2. Um, Kevin, I believe, won out of that like. What's 21 minus 6? 15. You won 15, and I won 6, and I won nice. the last round. That's not that bad. Um, by like a time based thing. But yeah, um, later on, um, like after dinner, we should probably play like more games, but not right now, because I need to print off my English paper for Wednesday, which is tomorrow. Oh, speaking of Wednesday, we gotta get ready for that math quiz. Yes. Yes, we do. What do you mean test? Oh, test, that's right, yes, and it's gonna be on paper and not on the computer. Really? Yeah. Yes, And then, what? You're excited for that? Yeah. Man, I'm not excited for that. So I gotta study for that. That's probably like the biggest thing I need to study for. Whoa! Oh, crap. Oh, double crap. I'm gonna have to get rid of a lot of my responsibilities. Like, tonight is supposed to be like improv club. And I'm like, whoa, I don't think I can do improv club tonight. For like, for real. And then, <laughs> and then there's supposed to be a psychology pass session to go over like chapter three. I might do that. Um, probably not, though. I'm sorry. Math. Math has to take presence on this, that test. Anyways, uh, stay tuned for more content. There's clerics that get rid of curses. Right now, Will is describing to Cade uh, Dominion. Oh, by the way, uh, we're currently chilling at the cafe with Will. Hi. Jonathan. Jonathan. Jordan. Lydia. Valerie. Cade. Yeah. What do you want? Uh, give them the stay tuned. Oh, Eric! Yo, how you been? Good, good. Oh, I started playing Magic the Gathering. Mm. I know nothing. Mm. I think I played it a while ago. Jonathan wants to get Dominion from the Deep, which is like another tabletop role-playing game. You want to come by once we get it and like test it out? Yeah, that's fun. Cool. Thank you. Have a great day, dude. Look at the top part of But yeah, stay tuned for more content. And So you explained like why the play exists. So yeah, why does it exist? Oh, because it was an assignment in theater appreciation. Because Jordan's in that class, and she sent me she sent she sent me the video of them reading the play about you guys. It's hilarious. But yes, someone wrote it for an assignment. Okay, that actually makes more sense. Yeah, the comic book though, like the pictures they drew, I don't know what that's about. Mm. -hmm. Let's see, and I haven't told uh, the vlog about the Barbie Strangler thing yet. So outside of CCRH, I was walking, and I saw this one woman going, <gasps> and looking inside of like a pile of garbage or whatever. So I was like, ooh, this is like law and order. This is like when they find a body or something just randomly like strewn around. So I walk up to her, and then she's like, who would strangle a Barbie like this? And there's just like this crazy looking Barbie just like covered in paint and stuff, yeah, just thrown in the garbage. Well, Ryan claims that he's the Barbie Strangler, but where did he get a Barbie? Exactly. Yeah. See, if you would have had time, we could have asked him about this follow-up question. Mm-hmm. Well, like, so he said it was you. Well, when did you get this Barbie? Where was the Barbie purchased? What color was the Barbie's hair? So long and obvious. No. Oh, and shout out to Brent, by the way. Uh, Brent was in our Fast Start program, and he got into, like, a pretty bad wreck. But he is, like, A-OK. -okay. He recovered yeah. very well. He, look, you can't even tell. Like, there's no, like slowness or like physical injuries that are like obvious and he's walking really good so yeah oh they said that he wouldn't be able to get back until January but he's doing it like yeah. he is back I didn't think he'd be able to walk they said he wouldn't be able to walk either for a while he's walking mm -hmm. he's a fighter fighter got my new so yeah stay tuned for more content now. you're about to dye your hair I don't know I want to do it now but what I color should she dye her hair post Why? in the comment section below I don't know.
crowdsourcing. No, I'm not crowdsourcing for my hair color. I get answers like blue and shit. So my mom's like, yeah, man. So roll, roll, roll my joint. It's easy to That was bigger than mine. African. Pussy like shrimp fried rice. Like a kangaroo. I stuck it in her ass and she said, Aye! Since it was lunch, I'd be screaming. Herbs and spices. Baby, that's why I love Give you words as you go. That's what I did in the last segment. But instead of using the music provided by Rap Script, I'm going to use the lyrics, but I'm going to use the instrumental for. Hit the phone. Harry John production. Yeah, I just arrived and I'm growing like wheat, like fauna, cause you know I'm like hooked on phonics. Yeah, I'm cataloging all you guys who try to catch up with me, but honestly, I'm just rapping straight to infinity. I strip you up your innocence, then I'm disposition. I am moving like this inquisition. Yeah, this is my mission. Yeah, I write down in my diary that I'm just too scary for all of you, cause I come out at midnight and I scare you, boo. Yeah, cause I'm here and I'm scary like a monster, of course, cause I'm moving straight fast like a horse, duh. Fying all of you who try to step up to me, but honestly, I'm just rapping straight to infinity. They can hear it better than this. Yeah, this is Lydia's boyfriend. Uh, what's his rapper name so people can like... Profit. Profit. Like the money profit, not like the spiritual profit. Jordan's already on it. The hair? Thank you very much. Alright, now we... With Hannah? With a cool new haircut. And Hannah with a different hair guy. Oh yeah, she's caffeine right. and like out. I didn't say copyright. <laughs> she's caffeine in. Okay, so I got eight cups. And then I'm drinking this. Well I'll tell you yeah. why not. It's called test in college. I think this is also called let's see how fucked up I can get. <laughs> <laughs> Some are sexual, some are cut to periods of nervous tension. There's a mysterious third kind. No one really understands. Oh, and they never heard this. It happens when your shark decides to take notes. Okay. No reason for it. No reason for it. Battle. Scientists. Scientists. Murdered by I the <laughs> Wait, did you ask Peter what the fuck that picture was about? No, I did not ask him. I like that much. 
No, okay. I'm pretty right, sure Peter, like, downloaded a Thanks. picture of some guy's dick back. off the internet no and sent it to her because Wait, it really no. didn't look like You're it would belong to him. Oh, oh god. I, I can't no, I have. I haven't no. seen, like, that I have, detail. I have, I have a, uh, doctor's appointment at the dentist. It was, like... And it looked like a really white guy's dick. <laughs> he's not, it wasn't tan enough to be Peter. Like, you get tan on your dick? I know, but he's like... You go down to the beach and he's like... No, I'm saying like... Can we give him a heat? No, but like, he's Italian, so like... But I'm saying like, he's... He's a different nationality. Look at all those monkeys! I'm not saying, he's, that's not tan, that's like different skin. I mean, I don't know. Really How it's white is that I noticed that Pretty damn they white. They had a rash. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, 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 they had a rash! <laughs> that gives me a chance to pull out. Not in front of the children. They were shaping it right there. <laughs> and it was a kind of small dick. So I don't think if it was his, he would really want to share that. You know what I mean? But then again, that wasn't like... I never talked to this no, it was just like, yeah, and it was splashing. So I was like, why? It was like this big. It's really sad. A lot of hair. Yeah. No, but like, I feel like it was too white to be on I don't know. I mean, maybe. <laughs> there's, there's occasions where I'm like, you know, this is okay. And then there's occasions where I'm like, no, this is not okay. And then I'm like, squirrel! When you learn that caffeine makes your friend homicidal. I've been homicidal for my entire life. Caffeine didn't do shit about that one. Stay tuned for more content. Hey guys, it's midnight, and me and Kari are watching Super Jail. This is both of our first time watching it. Uh, Kari, what do you think of it? This is every mother's nightmare. Do you think you would ever watch this of your own volition? I don't know. You don't know? I don't even know when you If you like Ren and Stimpy, but you feel like it's not crazy enough, Ren I feel like... Ren Stimpy was never like this. Dude. This stuff wasn't even a, didn't even approach cartoons this way. Dude. I feel like this is what Ren Stimpy would be if they had ultimate freedom. Ren Stimpy was actually, was actually organized. Like, no, it is shit, not, dude. All this shit is just happening. They had a general plot. This has but a plot. All this, all this shit's just happening for no reason. I feel like you need to rewatch Ren and Stimpy. I watch Ren and Stimpy That's on a regular basis. That is not, not a genuine that. plot. They do. What's like, the general Ren, plot? Like, there's this one episode where Stimpy was, um, getting all the fan mail, but Rin wasn't. And so he was trying throughout the entire episode to try and, like, cope. Cope with doing so. Like, getting, not getting the, um, popularity. But, and, yeah, he went insane during, this, uh, during the episode. He just, he, he was talking about, like, murder and stuff. I was gonna, like, murder Stimpy or whatever. But it wasn't like, it wasn't like this. But this has a general plot. No, it's not. But what the, the fuck does this have to do with the plot at all? Okay. This never has to happen. You remember that 80s movie? Um, where, is it like Ooh. a night at Bernie's Ooh. or whatever? This is what just like a night fuck? at Bernie's. Yo, <laughs> Susie. <laughs> oh, I'm reading from my English class. That doesn't look like reading. Well, I mean, recording. that's what I was doing before we started watching Super Jail. This is the cancer of all. This is the cancer of all TV right here. No, I'm sure there's more cancer. No, look at this. <laughs> Someone's at the door. It is Marcy. Yeah, Marcy. So yeah, stay tuned for more content.